Did you like the Rams move or the Eagles or the Texans better? If I'd mentioned just like those the, three. I like the Rams most. Yeah, I did too. Because in my opinion, here's what this is. You have a supremely motivated uh, a guy in Dante Fowler Jr. who never has played up to his potential for a variety of reasons in Jacksonville and now has eight games and one playoff month to prove that he should be pay- paid like a, a Miles Garrett or, or, you know, a premier pass rusher. He has not been that. And so he's going to be motivated in the next three months to play like the guy who was drafted so high. Um, and that's why, to me, I look at this and I think that especially because of what the Rams need, they need that edge rusher and they have a very good defense up the middle, you know, obviously mm-hmm. with, with great defensive tackles and Mark Barron, uh, you know, as a run stuffing safety slash linebacker, they, they need an outside rusher. And I think he's going to provide that. What about the Eagles with golden tape? Love that move. Because I think Golden Tate felt like he was being underutilized. I mean, here's a guy who caught uh, more passes in the last four years than than I think anybody other than Jarvis Landry uh, coming into this year, and he just wasn't used all that much. My feeling, Dan, is that Golden Tate is one of these. He's just a football player. He's uh, you know he's an Edelman type who just put him out there, and he's going to find a way to get open and get yards. And I think Kenny, Kenny Galladay had passed him uh, in terms of the pecking order in Detroit, yep. and they felt like he wasn't going to be back there next year. So I understand why Detroit did this, but the Lions lost as the Eagles gained. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.